My experience using Apple log footage has been a polarizing one. It was everything I ever wanted for years, but at the same time, hard to use consistently. That is until Apple released Final Cut Camera, which allowed me to shoot only in log, faster, and with significantly smaller file size. And in this video, I'll show you how to set that up. If you don't know what Apple Log is, watch this video by ZY Chang. It's the best explanation on YouTube. It basically removes the over-sharpened, over-processed colors normally baked into iPhone footage to give a more natural look and control over color grading. You can see the over-sharpening here with the water spots on the plant, or how the grass looks more contrasty. It just doesn't look as true to life as log footage. And being a person who only shoots on my phone, I wanted to use Apple Log all the time. But there used to be two issues that stopped me. And by some miracle, Final Cut Camera solved both of them. File size is the reason why a person may never use Apple Log. A minute of Apple Log footage is six gigabytes, meaning that the 128 gig base models have less than 20 minutes of recording time. That's fine for videography projects where you're recording to an external drive or dumping the footage constantly, but this was a problem for the everyday person who wanted to only record in log to get that more natural look. I used it during travel, for example, where I just couldn't offload the footage. The only workaround that existed was using the Blackmagic app, which I tried, but it was always a little buggy. I liked Apple's built-in camera app, but the Blackmagic app still worked. The Final Cut Camera app allows you to reduce the log file size. Open the app and go to Settings, change codec to HEVC. Change color and dynamic range to log, but now look at the available recording time, over two and a half hours, compared to less than 20 minutes shooting log in the default camera app. So now I get the image benefits of log without the massive file sizes. A couple more settings I use are to turn on preview with LUT so I can see the images with normal colors, turn on stabilization, and turn on overexposure indicator, otherwise known as zebra, so I can see when the highlights are blown out. So this fixed the storage issue, but there was still a usability convenience problem. I hate that Apple made Final Cut Camera a standalone app. I don't want to have to unlock my phone and then click a separate app and no clue why Apple just didn't build these features into the default camera. But there is a workaround, and that's to use the action button. Go to settings and action button, then shortcut and open app, then select final cut camera. So now pressing the action button, even when the phone is off, launches final cut camera, which we just set to Apple log. And just a note, this is the iPhone 16 Pro, which introduced that camera control button, but as of recording, I'm not able to open the Final Cut camera with the camera control button. Another decision that makes zero sense by Apple, but I imagine they'll add this eventually. And there you have it. Now I can shoot Apple Log with files one-fifth the size they used to be. So now the 128 gig base models can record over two and a half hours of footage. And I can launch straight into log footing by pressing the action button, just like the normal camera app. Hopefully this helps more people record in Apple Log because it really does look better than iPhone's default image. Anyways, comment below if you want a response. Let's talk and subscribe for new videos every Sunday. Thanks.